Hi guys, so we are at immunization for BCG because we are Nigerian and I was born in Nigeria and Tony's grandparents are living in Nigeria. He has to have the BCG vaccination, which is not a routine vaccination for um, England. If you were British or you were not from a place where TB was endemic, then you wouldn't need the BCG vaccine. Tony, what's the problem? Why are you complaining? Why are you complaining? But because we're Nigerians and all the backstory about us leaving and moving from Nigeria, then we have to have the BCG vaccine. Kiton also had the BCG vaccine when she was born and now Tony is, how many days is he? He is 14, 15, 16, 17. He's 17 days old today. Um, he's gonna have his BCG vaccination. So we're here, we're waiting for the nurses to come and you know give us the vaccination and leave. He's still quite cranky from his circumcision that he had the other day. He hasn't been sleeping well at night. He has just been like very, very touchy. But um, I think it's healing well. Um, so I'm happy for that. My auntie's here as well. Angela, say hello to my vlog. Hello. She's been here for like how many weeks now? Huh? One and a half weeks at this point. Okay. Mm, yeah? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. One and a half weeks. Taking care of me and Tony. Trying to. Eshu. Emma Kwefu. You're welcome. <laughs> She, this is my my auntie. She came actually from Nigeria to visit her children and then decided to stop by and say hello to me because she loves me. Sure now. What can you say? Our little girl doctor. Am I little still? You sit. You always be our baby. Oh, you always be <laughs> my baby. Our baby doctor. Uh, anyways, yeah. So we shall see you. And I don't think I'm going to cry. Why? I've already cried for Keaton's vaccination and I, I've well, become... Was it that painful? So the BCG one, I didn't cry for that one, but when she was two months old, I think, that was when she had, she had like maybe four different injections or so. Mm -hmm. So it was still plenty and she was crying with all her power and I cried. Mm -hmm. But this time around, I don't think I made cry. I and think I've grown in. circumcision, you didn't cry? I didn't even cry for the circumcision. I'm now tough. Mm -hmm. I've been. I couldn't stay and watch it. Yeah, you had to leave. Mm -hmm. Even Tony was moving away from the place. Only mm -hmm. me, because I needed to see what he was doing to be sure that it it was. It did it right, yeah, I so I couldn't bring uh, myself to leave. I, I wanted to see it mm -hmm. as he was doing it. But she left the room. Mm -hmm. Tony totally went to go and stay at the end of the bar. He was crying so hard. I couldn't stay. Mm -hmm. But you know, in Nigeria, when they're doing for your when they were doing it for your cousins, mm. the, the nurses will just take the baby from you. So you won't see you what's won't happening. See, yes, uh, you'll be hearing the crying, but, but you not, not the see physical. It. You won't see it. But it's not better. But to I see don't it. know now whether they've they changed. Still, they, but they, they, for all your cousins, that's probably how they still do uh -huh. it. To be fair. You won't see. Because even when I was in UCH, mm -hmm. the mummies would just bring the babies and they bring and collect and the baby. They collect the baby, take the baby, take inside the baby do what you want to do, and then bring the baby back. Mm -hmm. That's what they That's usually do. Yes. But anyway, Sha, it was good, Sha. And all the paper, paper, let's see, or whatever Papa the doctor was telling it's me. He's not a doctor, he's a rabbi. Well, he's Jewish. Everyone that touches your body is to us is a doctor. <laughs> and give you, I was just over there, they just. Um, care don't they baby. give you care instructions? No, for what now? It, no, it's a it's a natural thing. I don't understand. You know the ones you, you have to change it like this, do like this. Uh. Anyway, shall, I if, guess the world is changing. Uh, exactly, that's what I was going to say. Mm. If you were in Nigeria too, you probably not give the care instructions. But this is UK. You don't want anybody mm. to come and tell you. Mm. Or because of the repercussion, the government. Exactly, see, exactly, you know, exactly. That's probably. But Nigeria, it. no, they don't. You just collect your baby because after some a few days, you know. The baby will go get back better. To yeah, they don't say you look at this picture. Look at this picture. This is how it should be. You should be doing it like this. Mm. That kind of thing. Oh, new time. Actually, <laughs> well, in but Nigeria, you know, we are matured. I go, this you know, circumcision is expensive. That's another reason okay. why maybe because okay, we paid we through. paid one hundred and eighty pounds for this circumcision. How much is circumcision in Nigeria? Uh -uh. I know. 
Oh no, then mm. it wasn't expensive. Even now, I don't think it can mm, be expensive. No, but then it wasn't. Because and it's a general thing. You go to the hospital, they collect the baby from you, they will, they will do it. I mean, but you said, yeah. They don't do circumcision don't, in this place do unless it, there's uh -huh. a medical indication uh -huh. for it. So it's different. They don't do circumcision. Mm -hmm. Everybody would carry themselves like that. Unless if there's a medical indication for circumcision, that's when they do it. Now, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, just look. Free clothes for you or your baby. Sorry, not your baby. Free clothes for your baby. They've got like zero to three months, three to six months, different ages. Um, and I was just saying, even even they've got like baby milk, first infant milk. Can you feel this? Yeah. Okay. They've got baby milk and like the teething head. I was just saying that if it was, this was Nigeria, I doubt that you would have these things because somebody would have taken everything, probably gone to sell it. But people here only take things if they actually need it. And that's a really good thing. Even like they've got like toys for your babies to play with and stuff like that. Really, really nice. You can see You want to be coming to volunteer? Yeah, they say you have to be living here. Yeah, here, no. You have to have a proof. Proof of what? Um, that you can work. For volunteer work? That's a good thing to do. Yeah. Anyways, guys, Tony has had his BCG vaccine. He didn't cry. He took it like a champ. My boy is a strong boy. There was another boy in the other room and he was crying. And this one did not cry because it's strong it's not that i'm comparing or anything I, or maybe i'm comparing i don't know <laughs> but he's strong sir. period we don't cry for injections mm -hmm. <laughs> anyways we're waiting for our cab now and we'll be going home but yeah i don't know do you need work permits to volunteer because my auntie was saying something about volunteering i don't know if you need a work permit but i don't think you should because it's a volunteer work. It's not like you would be paid. They might just give you a stipend, but they won't pay you. I feel like taking one of these books home for kids to read, but I, I, won't, I won't be able to bring it back. That one, I know. And I don't know when I'll come back here because I don't think his, the rest of his vaccinations are going to be here. But they've got like lots of books here, and they said you can take them, but just make sure to bring them back. Or well, I don't know about bringing them back because. That one is not coming long, <laughs> so I'm not gonna take it. Um, anyways, our cab is almost here. We shall see ya. Guys, we are back from the immunization, and I just want to. Yes, I just wanted to show you guys the gift I got myself. <laughs> I got myself a few things actually. Um, I went on a YouTube bit of a shopping spree because I feel like I deserve something nice after pushing a baby out of my... Actually, I didn't push the baby. They taught, the baby was yanked out of my belly, but same thing, potato, potato. So, I got myself a gift from Harrods. I've already unboxed the gift. A smeg... A smeg pot. You guys, smeg is a luxury pot brand or a luxury kitchenware brand. Um... And I just felt like I, I've had my eyes on the smeg stuff for a while now. So when I say a while, I Mama leave it alone, please. Thank you. Don't enjoy yourself. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. You tell me that it's so beautiful. Right. So when I say a while now, I genuinely mean like at least a year or two that I've had my eyes on the smeg stuff. So they have like kettles, toasters, everything, but I already have a kettle. The kettle does what it's supposed to do for me. I'm not a heavy tea drinker, so I don't see the need to buy more than one kettle. Um, I'm also not a bread person as such, so toast is not really my go-to, which is mama. why I just gravitated towards... Mama. Yes, mama. mama. Yes, mama. mama. 
which is why I just gravitated towards the pot. Now, I did something really cheeky and I decided to get myself a card as well. And the card you guys see from Harrods, that's where the card's from. Kito! Um, I got a card and the card says, a gift for you. I actually personalized the card myself. Congratulations on your new baby. Isn't this the most cheeky thing that you've ever seen? Like literally. Anyways, I deserve nice things too, so why not? Why not? Why not? Now, I was torn um, between the color that, of the pot that I should choose. So here I see this white one. Um, on the box I thought about getting that one but then the thing with white cookware is obviously because I'm Nigerian I'm gonna cook very Nigerian dishes and Nigerian dishes have the tendency to stay in your pot so I thought white might not be the best thing and black seemed a bit boring so I decided to go with red yay look it's quite big as well like I use it to make like a hearty pot of jollof rice or fried rice or whatever really pretty and it says smeg in here and it says smeg on the handle as well it's really pretty i must tell you um and then it's got the tag that says smeg the second push gift i got myself is this perfume now this one is perfumes of arabia I was in the mall the other day and I just smelled something. It felt so delicious. I was like, what is that? I need to have it. I absolutely, absolutely need to have it. So I went to smell it and this is the perfume. It's called Rose Gold and it's by Perfumes of Arabia. You guys know me. I'm a perfume girl. I love to smell good and I will, I don't mind spending my money on perfume at all. And especially since I was getting myself a present for giving birth i thought why not sorry i was just trying to adjust you guys so that you guys could see properly but yeah anyways this is what the bottle the box of this looks like it's by oud house london perfumes of arabia and this is called rose gold this perfume smells so flipping delicious Ooh, excuse this whiteness on my hand sorry guys even just from opening it, it smells so good. But this is it. Ah, oh God, it smells so flipping yummy. Like, it smells like berries, grapes, marshmallows. It smells so complex, like a really nice blend of different fruits that you like and like a sweet taste. This is a really nice feminine perfume if you are thinking about getting one. I really like this one. So this is my second push gift. Why? Third push gift I got myself is a cup because postpartum your girl has got to stay hydrated. So I got myself a really nice cup. For drinking water so that I can be hydrated and that <laughs> so this one I actually bought from TikTok shop um, by a brand called Miyoki this is the, sorry this is the straw guys and this is the cup it's so big Look. Ta -da! So cool. Yeah, so those are the stuff I got myself. The snack pot, the perfume, and this cup. And that is it for this little segment of this unboxing. Why are you being a weirdo? Weirdo.
after the intention put your face you said not to show you you're nothing but a joker baby that's your mama kito 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 mama eh melo ni eh melo ni mokpe I met a mummy. I met a mummy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. Kitala is so beautiful, beautiful. Guy, you, guy, you, guy, you. Can I eat mama's eyes? Can I eat mama's nose? Can I eat mama's ear? Eyes. Nose. Mouth. Mouth. Yeah. Head. Cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is so beautiful. Tony is still sleeping. He has been sleeping. Do you know what? He actually does this all the time. He doesn't sleep so great at night, but then proceeds to sleep so beautifully in the morning. Um, so yeah, he's sleeping, he's having a good time, resting, and yeah. Keeps on the low, keeps on the low. <laughs> she is happy. Tony is busy sleeping here. Like a prince. Mama, stop shouting. No shouting. No shouting. Hi guys. Another day, another day, another day. My friend on came to visit and then she took us out for lunch. It's a what? Postpartum gift, isn't it? Yeah, push present. Oh, push present. Stop it. Mama, say hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> so, Kito has been calling. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, my God. No shouting, Mama. Why are we excited? See Mama's beautiful hair. Hair. Uh oh. Alright, okay. guys, appetizer for lunch has come and it is chicken wings. What's your verdict? Taste test, taste test, taste test. Uh, what if I don't know how to use fork and knife? Why are you using fork and knife? <laughs> She's using fork and knife. She's forming for you people. Do they know how to cook? Scale of 1 to 10. Colata. You can ask for sweet chili sauce no, or something. It's not that deep. <laughs> Because the sauces will add extra calories for sure. Yeah, but they will. But this is not bad. Scale of 1 to 10. Okay, 6. 6. Ah, 6 is bad. bad. 4 is for pepper. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to taste it and we shall give it a verdict. What do you think? I agree with you actually, it's a six. It can't be more than six. The sauce is even. Wow. I don't know what sauce this is. The sauce doesn't. It's like an onion sauce. Onion and garlic, that's what it is. Mm. It's a solid six for me for sure. Oh, 
Hi guys, welcome back again to the channel. You guys, Dada. channel. Dada. Mm -mm. <laughs> so guys, I found this club on on Twitter. I said Twitter on um what's the name of that TikTok. I was scrolling and I saw a mom's club, so I decided to join them. And we're having brunch. Mama, mama, sit down. Kilo de sauce by walkie, huh? Kilo fair. Eh? Uh, I forgot what I was saying now. This girl has made me lose my thoughts. But um we're going out for brunch now. It's a called Essex Mom's Club or something like that. So me, Tony, Kita and Ikel Lua are going out. She even did makeup because she wanted to be looking cute or whatever. Yeah. Maybe she'll see her husband there. She's single, she's single. Come and get her, come and get her. Anyways, guys, um, we're headed there now and we shall see how it goes. I'm kind of excited because this is the first like random thing I'm going for. Um, I hope it's nice. We haven't even eaten anything today and the time is almost 3 p.m. We forgot to eat. So when we get there, I think food is going to be one of the first things in our minds because I'm sure Kelo is hungry, right? Not really. Liar! True. Are you serious? Yes. I'm starting to get hungry because I'm even starting to get a headache now. But, oh my god, I'm realizing that I look like mommy a lot now. Like my face. Mm. You always look like mommy now. No, now it's becoming more and more obvious after I've become a mommy myself. I'm now having mommy's face. Anyways, um, yeah. These are the sun shades I decided to wear today. Let me show you guys. Ugh, open. I don't know if it even goes with my outfit. Can you believe that this is summer and we're still having to wear a jacket because England has refused to summer. Like, sometimes we even still have to put on the heater, especially because of Tony. He doesn't really like being in the cold. And obviously it's less than ideal for a baby to be in the cold, but we have to put on the heater in july that's crazy like that is crazy anyways we'll see you guys later bye
good morning guys welcome and welcome back again to the channel you hey guys i just woke up i genuinely think i need to get good pajamas because my nightwear this nightwear is actually my mom's own it looks like that's why it looks like a grandma nightwear it's so unsexy but she gave it to me um i took it from her really when when i was leaving nigeria just so i could have like one of her clothes so and it's been really handy for me because this is what i've used in almost all my pregnancies and you guys know that i've been pregnant quite literally ever since i came into england so um yeah basically i think i'm over the night right now because even if i'm not done with childbearing which i think i am but even if i'm not done i think i need a break of at least minimum two to five years and i don't think that this nightwear is ideal for me to be wearing for the next couple years so i want to buy some nightwear i tried to look on instagram for some of the nigerian brands like i know kamsi has a nightwear brand i wanted to buy from her but she was sold out and there was another one i saw mood strings i think that's the name of that one i looked at their page they were also sold out so that's why i couldn't buy from them but um i really like what the, I, I really love to patronize nigerian vendors if there's an opportunity to patronize them but seeing as i haven't got any opportunity at the moment i, I might just you know buy from Shein or whatever tony is here you guys i don't know what's happening with tony's skin but it reminds me kind of like keton skin he's got like a rash on his face on his neck and it's not painful he hasn't got a fever he's not itchy it's just rashes there and i initially thought it was baby acne but i remember keton's own lasted maybe two weeks maximum three weeks and tony's own has been about two weeks now and it doesn't look like it's getting better instead it looks like it's actually like expanding i don't know how to explain it to you um so guys i don't know if you guys can see this but this is what tony's face is looking like at the moment he's got this rush everywhere tony's go um and it's just like that on both sides of his face i don't know why he's looking that way he doesn't want to look the other direction but yeah this is what tony's face is looking like um i've just been trying to moisturize it keep it clean you know um but i've done a bit of research about it and it says it's self-limiting so i don't want to put like loads of product on it or anything like that meanwhile my old guy is in nigeria um they launched a new business in nigeria so he had to go um and he's been there for about a week now so he's gonna come next week come back home next week uh, and basically it's just me tony ikeolua my sister and um Keaton at home um and we've just been you know winging it enjoying ourselves and all um so yeah anyways i'll see you guys i just wanted to show you guys tony skin um i'm just using a moisturizer i actually use avino baby for sensitive skin for him to bathe him um because i did I, I wanted to minimize the chances of him getting this thing because keaton got it but apparently it's just a thing that babies get if you google baby acne you're gonna see it it's, it's kind of it's just a thing that babies get and i don't think there's anything much that i can do on my end to like make it um to like prevent it basically and it's self-limiting it's gonna last a couple weeks to months according to them and it shouldn't leave a scar under ideal circumstances so i pray that it doesn't actually leave a scar tony school oh why are you complaining i've just had a bath for him uh, it smells so clean and so baby <laughs> so nice why are you complaining let me show you guys his face can we look hey tony's uh -uh. you yeah, guys tony is about five weeks old now actually he's five weeks old and his neck control is so much better now i'm so glad i mean look at him being able to hold his head up that's such an improvement i'm so glad he's developing well and everything praise be to god tony school say hello hmm. anyways guys i'll see you guys let me go downstairs and say hello to kito and ikel luad because they sleep together and me and tony sleep together basically so yeah i'll go downstairs and say hello to them now because they've woken up now 
to me school so guys i am officially exactly six weeks postpartum and i wanted to like officially officially although i've already started my weight loss journey and i've lost a good amount of weight so at this point from my heaviest pregnancy recorded weight which was 117 kgs i am now about as at sunday or saturday last week when i weighed myself as at this saturday that just passed which was three um four five days ago i was 100 kg so i've already successfully lost 17 kgs which was pretty much what i gained the entire pregnancy so at this point i can say that my weight is back to my pre-pregnancy weight for for tony although not my pre-pregnancy pre -pregnancy weight for keton because my pre-pregnancy weight for keton was 88 kgs so i'm trying to get back to 75 kg which was my university weight stroke my wedding weight right now i'm at my pre-pregnancy weight for keton so over the next couple months i want to lose some weight and i've been exercising not very actively maybe twice a week that's what i've been doing i'm not even gonna lie to you we've been exercising about twice a week and we have been very strict with our diet this is my sister she's trying to get to 60 kg and her starting weight was 75 kg when we start we have been doing this for like a month now right so i've been doing this for like a month um when she started one month ago her weight was 75 kg when she weighed herself on saturday her weight was now 73 kg right 72, 72 kg so she has already lost 3 kg in the past one month from our dieting and she doesn't even exercise at all because she's very lazy she just diets anyways so now we want to do our okay look, bring the tape let's do our measurement we'll do our measurement and then we'll hop on the scale to check what our actual weight is as of now so we have been doing like on it's either we do intermittent fasting or one meal a day that's what we've been doing so far um, we started off with calorie deficit so we're eating three meals in the beginning we're eating three meals but we're eating three small portion meals um, and then we transition to intermittent fasting so what we're doing so far right yeah and you guys i'm just doing it to support my sister she's a liar she wants to lose she wanted to lose 15 kg when she started because she started at 75 <laughs> and she wants to get back to 60 kg and now she says she's just doing it to support me. You can lie. I'm serious. Because today, I was just thinking, why am I even doing this thing? Yeah. Nah, I'm not kidding Jesus. Nah. Nah, fat, I fat. Nah, yeah, fat, I fat. I'm not even fat. You're yeah, just an, a normal sized person. But then I was like, my why is because of my sister. Oh. Fighting. But I've come a long way. Like, even my face is much na narrower now. Anyways, let's do our measurements with the tape. So ignore my my Christmas um, PJs, but we shall start by measuring our waist. And right now, my waist is thirty six centimeters. To be fair, I've measured my waist three times. It can be either thirty seven, thirty six, or thirty five. It just depends on how tight. So thirty five is like skin tight. 36 is a little bit loose 37 is what i would give to the tailor if i wanted to sew an outfit just so i can have some breathing space so that so i'm just going to say 37 for the purpose of this video and then my belly which is my mom pooch you guys can see the mom pooch so my belly is So my belly is again depends on how tight either 41 or 42 that's what my belly is just depends on how tight i make it and then my hips are my uh, this measurement that i'm getting now is not correct because my hips are 46 and i know i measured it to be 48 the other time this is not the fattest part. Down a bit. Yeah. Okay. Forty-seven. 
so my hips are 47 or 48 again depends on how tight i make it so for the purpose of this video we're going to take the upper limit which is my waist being 37 my abdomen being 42 and my hips being 48 that's what we're going to take this as i'm trying to get my waist down to 30 inches i'm trying to get my abdomen down to maximum 37 and i'm trying to get my hips back down to 43 at the maximum which would put me at a size 12 and for me to be a size 12 i should be weighing between around 75 kilos that's what i'll be weighing if i'm going to be a size 12 and my last measurement my last weight on saturday was 100 kg we're gonna weigh now i'm gonna see what this weight is today so you can look at your own fabric doesn't add to your measurements so that is 32 31 35 okay 41 41 41 okay so time for our weight now how do you feel so now i'm 97 even possible. Do you know what? Because I was actually 100.5, right? Mm -hmm. And now I'm 97. That's, I've lost almost 3 kg. Like in a week, oh. It's actually, not like less a than a week because it was Saturday. Exactly. And today is. And today is Wednesday. Is that possible? Ah! It might be water. Well, I don't know. I've been doing this for a while for it to be water weight at this point. But. Kita ah! is even excited too. So. Okay, let's do your own. Okay. <sighs> Imagine if I've gained weight from all this. Ah! Is that what? 70.7? Yeah. Ah! yeah. From 72. Yeah. 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 Do you know what? Yeah. This is just yeah. making me realize that weight loss yeah. 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 is not actually yeah. an arithmetic progression. Mm. Some, because the week before, we did not really lose any weight. We only lost like some couple of grams. I only lost like maybe 400. And I lost 500 grams the week before. Mm -hmm. And now, we have lost... I've lost like 2 kg. I've lost almost 3 kg in just one week. That means I've lost 5 kg in total. Process. Yeah, since you started. One yeah. month ago. Mm -hmm. ah! So I'm not exercising. Like, this one is just lazy. But I'll incorporate exercise. I need abs. Let me see your abs. Yeah. Suck in your belly. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, now, no wala. <laughs> people and welcome back again to the channel so we are here for um a six to eight week check this isn't like the gp appointment this is just like um child check more than for me really so i've got my gp postnatal check by 11 30 today time at the moment is 9 30 so when we're done here then we're gonna go to the gp for the gp's check um, so yeah, we're just here chilling. That's my sister, Auntie. Auntie. Hiya. In it. In it. <laughs> all, all the phrases she has learned. <laughs> you okay? You alright? You alright? 